Hey guys, before you go and watch the new video, there's an important statement I need to make first. For context, I started filming in June and I filmed the last clip in September. This obviously wasn't my original plan. I had full intention of releasing this video during the summertime, but then a lot of stuff happened in my personal life that contributed to this delay. The most major change being that unfortunately I was laid off from my full-time role. It's been a bit of an emotional roller coaster the past couple of months, not to mention I had to get ready for LPS Con and create my own workshop. Both the layoff and LPS Con have been big factors as to why I haven't been posting on YouTube as much apart from the LPS Con vlog. And I truly am sorry for leaving you on the dark for so long. I know I didn't properly make a video explaining my absence. I did make community posts about it, but hopefully this can give you an, an idea and understand why I've been MIA for such a long time. But I do have some good news. For those of you that are familiar with my shout out process from back in the day, I stopped doing shout outs for a while when I went to grad school, but I've graduated, I have some time, and I am bringing the shout outs back. So in case you don't know, shout outs are something I've done regularly after each YouTube video. I would end each video asking you to leave a comment with a hashtag and answering a prompt. And from there, I would pick one person who responded to the prompt to have their YouTube username written on the canvas and then rinse and repeat that cycle for all the videos to come. So make sure that to stay tuned until the end of the video where I'll show you how you can enter for a chance to have your YouTube username written on a brand new canvas. So with that in mind, thanks so much for listening to this important announcement and I hope you guys enjoy this skit. I'm so glad that last exam was over. Why did I think it was a good idea to transfer to AP Calculus? Right? They always say, oh, you can't write your essay in a day, yet they make us regurgitate a semester's worth in one hour. Oh, well, I think I did pretty awesome. Says the top student with at least 150 consecutive A's. What's up, guys? Oh, Sophie, Jesse, you made it out of your classes. Now we're all present for an epic summer blowout. Wait, guys, that's not everyone. We're still missing ah! Debbie! Ugh, Dylan, right on cue. <laughs> Sweetie, you really need to work on your landing. Uh, how dare you? That was intentional. <laughs> well, I stand corrected. Now we're all here. So, what is everyone's plans for its summer 2023? Well, if family history repeats itself, another road trip to Niagara Falls. What's with the disgusted look? Niagara Falls sounds so romantic. If by romantic you mean derivative, then yes. Ha! See, Bimini? I told you I use math in everyday life. Math words with double meanings don't count. Oh, man. Well, I'm saying, why don't you take me with you? It could be uh, our summer date. You know what? That's actually a great idea to have you join us. I'll ask my parents if they can take you. Yee! You have to send us pics. Bimini? Oh, me? I'll be spending all my summer taking an extensive AI college course. What? It's called summer vacation, not summer school. Um, may I mention that this is a college course and not from the mediocre public education curriculum? Ooh, which reminds me, I need to start applying for early admission to some of my top tier colleges. Anyways, uh, Debbie, Dylan, what about you? Well, since it's June and my mom said I'm finally old enough to plan my own summer, I'm going to be attending my first Pride March solo, and I'd like a certain German Shepherd to be my date for the parade. What do you say? Oh! Take notes, Jesse. This is a romantic summer vacation. Wait, you actually booked tickets for the downtown parade? Those are hard to come by. A of course I'd love to. Huh? <sighs> And my mom just ruined the moment. No worries. I mean, you did get your mom's permission, right? We've been talking about this massive march for months now. Uh, uh, sure I did. It's not like I forgot. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna march home this instant and get our things ready. You're amazing, babe, you know that. <laughs> you tell me every day, of course. <laughs> I'll see you later. She totally forgot, didn't she? Uh, probably, but it's okay. 
She was just as excited for it as I am. She certainly won't miss out on this event. Okay, anyways, who's up to throw their old notes in the recycling bin? Sure, I'm down. Let's add detention slips to the mix, too. Suit yourself. I'm saving mine in the archives. Okay, Mom, I'm here. Pump the brakes. I can't believe it's summer break already. There you are, sweetie. What took you so long? Did you get my text? Oh, my day was fine. How was yours? Debbie, you know I don't like this tone. But since you asked, we're going through another round of layoffs. Again. And I have to change roles. Again. As if my life wasn't already stressful enough being a parent and a working mom. Uh, okay, mom. Oh, that was a bit dark. Anyways, I'm ready to get back home, kick back, and enjoy a nice family dinner. Oh, Debbie, no, we're not going home yet. We're going shopping first. Shopping? Oh, for the Pride March, right? Oh, I totally forgot about that. March? Who said anything about a march? No, we're going shopping and get soft foods. You know, for your wisdom teeth surgery. <gasps> what did you say? I said we're going shopping to get you soft foods because you have your wisdom teeth surgery tomorrow. What the actual tail? Don't freak out. Don't freak out. No! Debbie? Debbie! Huh? Uh huh? What? Debbie, pay attention. I'm asking if you want strawberry or blueberry gelatin. Right. Gelatin for after my wisdom teeth are forcefully yanked out. <sighs> Debbie, I already told you in the car and many months before the surgery that I went through it and you'll be just fine. Now, which flavor do you feel like having? Uh. Let's do straw full. No, I mean, uh, blue bleed. Uh, uh, I, I don't know, okay? <sighs> strawberry it is, then. Oh, strawberries. Strawberries are soft food, right? Yeah, strawberries are soft foods, but they... Debbie? <sighs> Alright. Fruits. Perfect. Hmm. They all look so tempting, but strawberries are a must. Debbie! Debbie, you remember what the surgeon said? No strawberries. Why not? Is it because I'll mistake them for my tongue when my mouth goes numb? Of course not. Oh, well, actually, maybe. Foods that have small seeds can get lodged in the extraction area. We don't want that happening to you. Why? Because you think strawberries are going to get stuck in my gums? I'm being sarcastic. Of course I know that won't happen. And I'm guessing watermelons are a no-go either. Great! Not only do I get to miss out on an amazing parade, but I get to miss out on some of nature's greatest creations. Oh, stop being so dramatic, Debbie Grand. The sooner we get these wisdom teeth out, the quicker your recovery time will be. Now, how about you do me a favor and take that cart to check out? I'm gonna go find you some ice cream. Oh man, that's the one sugary food I can't stand. Literally, I hate being lactose intolerant. Thank you for shopping with us today, ma'am. Have a nice day. You too. All right, I can help who's next in line. Hi there. Did you find everything okay today? Yeah. Well, not really. I see. Look, if you're here to complain that there's no orange gelatin left, that's been recalled for like a week. No, it's not that. It's just... I have some stupid wisdom teeth procedure tomorrow, which I'm super bummed out about because that means missing the most epic pride parade with my girlfriend, missing out on all my favorite foods for an entire week, and my mom's telling me that everything's gonna be okay and just dandy when my body is feeling like a deer in the headlights knowing its inevitable fate is drawing near thanks to the carelessness of the pet behind the wheel of this whole operation more impacted than all four of my wisdom teeth. You know? Okay. Would you be interested in a buy one, get one free deal on this gelatin? Yes, please. Debbie, sweetheart, why aren't you eating? You've barely touched your food in the last five minutes. Uh, uh, yeah, I just, um, don't have much of an appetite. 
Debbie, that's impossible. You've hardly eaten since we got home. Well, I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know what else to tell you. I just wasn't anticipating steak and vegetables on the last day of school. <sighs> Debbie, I know we usually get pizza takeout on the last days of school for you and Dina, but since you won't be able to consume hard foods for a week after surgery, this is the last time you'll be able to get these nutrients from steak, broccoli, and corn inside you. Just think, if we had waited any longer to get your wisdom teeth out, your recovery period would be two, no, three weeks long, maybe even a month. Okay, great, thanks mom for making me feel so, so much better about this procedure. <laughs> Debbie, inside voice please. If I start eating my dinner now, can we please change the subject? <sighs> Fine, I just want you to get some food in your stomach before bed. <sighs> great. Oh, that reminds me. I have to go get a third chair. Huh? A third chair? What do you mean? Sorry, I'm late. Is mom's cooking done? I'm starving. Oh, Dina! Hey! What are you doing here? I thought you were heading back to your place. And miss this golden opportunity to watch my little sister get the wisdom cut out of her? Say what now? <laughs> I'm came here to sleep over, silly. Okay, now that sounded a little less humiliating. In all honesty, I'm actually glad you're here right now. You have no idea what mom is putting me through. Oh, trust me, it wasn't that long ago I was walking a mile in your shoes. Whoa, what a season finale. Oh man, you were not kidding about the hype of this show. I'm so glad you talked me into this. <laughs> Isn't it? That's what I've been trying to tell you for the last six months. Oh my gosh, where'd all the time go? Is it really almost midnight? Uh, maybe we should hit the hay. Not tonight, sis. What? The plan was to keep you awake throughout most of the night so you'll fall asleep fast during the procedure. Oh, yeah, that's right. Funny. And usually you're the early bird. Who are you? What have you done with my sister? <gasps> have you been replaced by an alien? <laughs> oh yeah, because that is more realistic than being haunted by one of your ancient ancestors. So, what show do you want to watch next? Uh, I don't know, let's see. Hmm. Still no word on Stranger Things Season 5. Ooh, how about Never Have I Ever? All four seasons are ready for our viewing pleasure. Might as well watch that. Sure, whatever you want, Debbie. Ooh, Heartstopper. Hmm. Teens Charlie and Nick discovered their unlikely friendship that might be something more as they navigate school and young love in this coming-of-age series. Oh, you might like this one, Debbie. This is, like, your life. Um, Debbie? Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I was just thinking. About? I was thinking about how great it would be if we had some popcorn for this show. Normally I'm down for some binge watch snacks, but remember, you can't eat anything after midnight. Your stomach has to be completely empty for the wisdom teeth surgery. I know! Are you trying to torture me? Because it's working! <sighs> no, I'm not trying to torture you. There's clearly something on your mind. If this is you being worried about the surgery, remember, I've gone through it and everything was just fine. Sure, I was out of it for a few days, but it's not as serious as losing an arm or a leg, you know? <sighs> well, that's easy for you to say. I'm a member of the Never Broken a Bone Before Club. And why is everyone telling me that everything is going to be fine? You don't know me or my body. You don't know how I'm going to react to the anesthesia or if there are going to be complications post-surgery. Yeah, I... I suppose that is true. I'm sorry, Debbie. I was only trying to make you feel better. But regardless, your feelings matter. It's an experience that you've never gone through before and have only witnessed. It's completely normal and okay to be scared of something you've never been through. Do you really mean that? Well, of course! What do you take me for, a liar? And especially if that means missing a huge event with your significant other. I can't even imagine the disappointment you must be feeling. <sighs> Thank you! Finally, this, this is what I've been waiting to hear! <sighs> Man. You have no idea how great it feels to hear that coming from you. I just wish mom could see it that way. She validated me and Dylan's relationship more than my own feelings about this dang procedure. 
Ah, yeah, that sounds like mom. Always giving us tough love to keep us grounded. You know, after dad. It's like she doesn't even care how many months me and Dylan were planning for this huge annual event. But surprise, the most cliche plot twist occurs where my dentist appointment and the event are scheduled on the exact same day. But come tomorrow post-surgery, my mouth will be bleeding out, my cheeks will be the size of a chipmunk's, and I'll be so dazed and out of it that I'll be one of those people who thought that Camp Rock was a good movie. Okay, well, if that's how you feel, we don't have to watch it. And miss out on the cringe? It's so bad, it gets better every time. I just don't get you. I get a lot of things, but I really don't get you. Well, you don't have to. I'm the one and only Debbie Grand, and I'm rather proud of that. <laughs> now there's the confident little sis I know and love. Now how about we get started with the show? Alright, fire away. Heartstopper it is. Debbie! Debbie, wake up! Ah, Chrissy, wake up! Oh, uh, uh, uh. What? Time to get dressed. Your wisdom teeth surgery is today and we don't want to be late. What? Already? How, how could it be morning so soon? You have 30 minutes to get dressed and be at the door before I come and drag you myself. Fine. At least Dina will be there for me in my darkest hour. Right, Dean? Not... She's not there. Where is she? Oh, she didn't tell you? She had to leave early for work. Seriously? We had a whole Petflix marathon and she leaves me in my darkest hour? What else could go wrong? <sighs> Welcome to the adult life, Dina, where three month long summer breaks are non-existent and W-2 tax forms are your friend. Enjoy being a student while it lasts. <sighs> it's so hard being alive, it doesn't get any easier. Mom sure could use the laughing gas more than I do. Well, this is it. The end of your childhood. Where all the wisdom is gonna be taken out of your gums and into a small white box. Chipmunk cheeks, here I come. Oh, why me? Okay, great, we're here. Nice waiting room. All right, well, I think I'll just wait in the car. Debbie, freeze. Back it up and bring it here. I'm just kidding. Oh, I forgot to lock the car. Debbie, why don't you go over there and sign in? I'll be back in just a moment. What? Thanks for leaving me hanging, Mom. <sighs> Doomsday, here I come, I guess. Huh? Hello? Uh, is there supposed to be a receptionist? Is there a bell I can ring or something? <laughs> what a flake. Guess that gives me an excuse to skip out on this appointment. Sorry I'm late, I'll be with you in just a moment. <sighs> Darn it. Oh, don't worry about it, it's five. Dina? Oh, Debbie, you made it. I was just about to sign you in. Come on, you work here too? How many jobs do you even have? Debbie, relax, it's just a contract role. And ditching me this morning at my hour of need? Don't try that little stunt with me again. Whoa, okay, Debbie. I guess oh, I can wait an extra five to ten minutes for you to wake up and end up running late to my job instead. <sighs> hey, it's all right if you're anxious. I mean, <laughs> come on, who wouldn't be? But rest assured, you're in absolutely good pause, sis. Don't worry. <sighs> Gee, thanks. I'll try to suppress my worries, even though the thought of worrying is become intrusive and all I can do is think about worrying. Yeah, piece of cake. Uh, actually, you can't eat cake post-surgery for at least a week. Sorry, sorry, just doing my job. Oh, goody. Just suck all the fun out of those oxygen masks, why don't you? <sighs> you know what? I'm done complaining. I'm just gonna take a breather and sit down. Just gonna get this over with. Does this magazine have any actual news in it? It's like this stuff is from another century. Debbie, this magazine was published in 2011. Oh, well that's probably why Kitty Purry and Justin Beaver are number one on Billboard. Debbie Grand, you're up next. <sighs> I 
guess it's now or never. Well, see you after surgery. It'll just be a piece of cake, I suppose. Oh, uh, thanks for the hug. You're going to do amazing, Debbie. I love you so much. I, I love you too, Mom. I, I will be okay. Even though I'm trembling on the inside right now. Oh, oh good luck! Uh, thanks! Well, I better get scrubbed in. Just take a seat in that pink chair and we'll get started shortly. Uh, right. Okay. <sighs> Yay. Too late to turn back now, I guess. Unless... All right, Debbie. Well, this is going to be a very simple half an hour procedure. As long as we get the anesthetic in, we should be... Um, Debbie? Oh, Debbie, what are you doing? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, uh, nothing, Doc. I was, um, wasn't trying to escape. I was just adjusting this blanket. It looked off. Fuck you, you got me. <sighs> Debbie, I understand you may be scared, but trust me when I say that you're in good paws. <sighs> yeah, the very same paws that are gonna probe and cut my mouth open and take out all the wisdom I have, and- Is that a knife? Oh, uh, that's, uh, actually a scalpel. I wasn't supposed to show you. That was meant to be decoration. Decorations? I may be a minor, but I'm not five years old. Well, it was worth a shot, right? Oh, no, it's okay. I appreciate you trying, Doc. It's just... It's hard to alleviate this fear when I've never gone through it before. I have no idea what's gonna happen, or what's gonna happen after. I don't know if I'm gonna, like, have bleeding gums for the entire week, Debbie, or... it's okay. Your fears are completely valid and warranted, especially this is your first time in surgery. It can be pretty scary. I remember how scared I was. But you know, after you get through this surgery, there's gonna be way more scarier things to worry about, like taxes, or applying for colleges, or GRE or MCAT exams. Ugh, those are extremely terrifying. But here, you'll be asleep for 30 minutes for what will seem like two seconds. And with your wisdom teeth still in the early stages, you should have a quick recovery time within a week. Of course, there is the risk of post-operative complications, but most of the times we issue an antibiotic and send you on your way. Well, we have no time to waste. Why don't you come sit down here and tell me what it feels like to eat with your impacted teeth? Eating? Oh my gosh. Oh, I remember now. The first time I tried to like bite down into a churro. A freaking churro! And it was soft. My jaw was aching like crazy. And I thought chewing caramel corn was bad. Mm -hmm. But I can't even chew regular old popcorn anymore. Regular popcorn! Even stale, soft popcorn from the movies. Of course, my dentist was a snitch during the x-rays and informed my mom that two of my teeth were coming in sideways or whatever, and now we're here. Oh goodness, I can only imagine how hard it must be not being able to eat the foods you love. And the fact that I put the IV needle in and you didn't even flinch once. Did you use the numbing cream? Oh, uh, well, no one prescribed me numbing cream. That's a thing? I mean, Sometimes I get this delayed reaction- Ouch! What stung! Okay, well the hard part's done now. Um, George, do you think you could give her some oxygen? Already on it. Oh, I almost forgot. When you're done, give my best to your sister, would you? My sister? You know Dina? What kind of dentist are you? You mean, you don't recognize me? Um, should I? Ashley Hamilton? Wait, you're- oh, 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 wait, I see it now. You're just hard to recognize in that mask and two heads. Oh, that must be the anesthesia kicking in. Nah, I'm just kidding, I knew it was you. At least, I think it is. Did you always have orange eyes? Right, uh, George, quickly, could you give the preoperative assessment? Debbie Grand, German Shepherd, young female, today's procedure, wisdom teeth extraction, no expected complications, allergic to penicillin, 
has history of sugar-induced hyperactivity. That's a new one. So you're just gonna read my entire life history out loud to an audience of strangers as if you're putting me to sleep? In that case, keep going. I talked with Ashley and she is my former roommate, so she pulled a few strings and I got this temporary position to just, you know, be there. Of course, that requires me to be out for the rest of the day. Hey, are you okay? Uh, Mom, I think she's up now. Well, does it over and I take a teeth out? Mm. Yep, the procedure went smoothly. All four of your wisdom teeth are out. Yeah, so I don't think it happened. When is it gonna start? <sighs> Debbie, dear, it's already over. No, I don't think it happened. I want to see the proof. Where's the proof? Where's my teeth? Where's my wisdom go? Oh, you never told us you wanted to keep your wisdom teeth. We threw them away. <sighs> Debbie, put your blanket back on. You're gonna catch cold. And besides, the uh, Dr. Ashley said you were not supposed to talk. <sighs> Rude. Well, she didn't see. I couldn't see. Whoa, whoa, settle down, Debbie. You, you can't make a single noise. Well, two seconds of my life wasted. Let's just go home. Up, up. Uh, uh, Debbie, that's enough, sweetheart. Get back into bed. Dr. Ashley hasn't cleared us to go yet. And no more talking. Or singing. Or sounds of any kind. Doctor's orders. Mm. I'll take that as a yes. Shrug! She is not there! The door's that way. I am that. Alright, steady. Let's walk you over to the couch. Mom, it's fine. It's fine. I know how to do this. I can walk by myself. Oh, the, the little beasts have two couches. Whoa, 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 settle down. The doctor said your legs would feel a little bit wobbly after anesthesia. Come on, I got something to drink. I haven't drank in like a week. Yes, we'll get you some juice. Hi guys, I, so I just got my wisdom teeth out. Feels really weird. Oh, whoops, I have the wrong camera on. Whoa, dude, is that what it looked like? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I got my wisdom teeth out, as you can tell by these two big puffy clouds on my cheeks. I know I'm not supposed to talk right now, but Ain't no doctor's gonna tell me what to do. I am a woman with her own voice to speak. Hey, I got my wisdom teeth out. Did I tell you that? I think I heard one of the side effects is amnesia. I almost said anesthesia, but I don't think that's a side effect. And I don't think the surgery actually happened because I was out in like two seconds and they didn't show me any teeth. No, none of my wisdom in a jar. And I'm super bummed out because I wanted to show you in the vlog or on this Instagram story that I got my wisdom teeth down. And that God is really <sighs> annoying me. I can't talk properly and I can't feel my tongue. But what bums me out most is, hang on. I'm watching the news. How do you turn this thing on? Oh, around? Oh, there you go. I'm watching the news. As you can see, they're documenting this big pride parade. <coughs> Almost choked in my blood for a second there. And I'm just a little disappointed that I'm not there with my best friend and girlfriend. We were really looking forward to this. Ow. Ah. What was I saying? We had this whole trip planned out, and I think now it's just ruined. Now that all the wisdom has been ripped out of my mouth and thrown into the garbage. My girlfriend is having the time of her life. I'm not even there to show for it. Because I look like a freaking chipmunk. 
with clouds on her cheeks. Well, bloody clouds, not the less, but still. Debbie, who are you talking to? Mom, I'm filming a video. Hun, you know the doctor said to try not to talk. It could mess up the healing. I will not be silenced. I will not be contained in a container like leftover from last <coughs> Uh, almost joked. <sighs> Why do I even try arguing? Anyways, I brought you a snack with some soft foods, some plain white toast, and banana pellets. And yes, I'll be refilling your juice right away. Oh, thank you. No problem, Debbie. Oh, you can take the gauze out while you're eating. Just be very careful while you're chewing. Yes. Oh, um... By the way, sweetheart, hmm? I know I must have been cold and firm to you about your procedure, and I want to apologize if that made you even more nervous. After high school and after college, life can sometimes be cruel, and I may not always be around to help you out, and I guess... I wanted to prepare you for those situations with some tough love. Admittedly, I was not prepared for the departure of your father. <sighs> Anyways, I've rambled long enough. I should probably refill your juice. But before I do, I know you'll probably be embarrassed by me doing this, but... Just know how much I love you, Debbie, and I am so proud of you and how you handled this procedure today. Oh, I'll get that. Dina must be back early. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Now I can finally speak properly. Wait, why do I... I can't... I can't feel my lips. Oh, great. Oh, uh, okay. Ew. Get out of here. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I think I bit my tongue. Can't feel where it is. <gasps> Sweet cheeks! Oh, 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 sorry. Here, let me come over. <laughs> I thought you and your two heads were on your way to the pride parade. Oh, you really think I'd abandon my girlfriend at her time of need? I, I can't believe it. Is, is this real life? Okay, first of all, yes, this is real life. And second, did you just say I had two heads? Oh, really? I could have sworn. Ugh, my anesthesia still hasn't worn off. Anyways, since you'll be stuck on this couch for the next week, I thought I'd drop by and entertain you and bribe you with some treats. Gasp! Yes. I got you some of my family's homemade juice without the pulp and some dairy-free ice cream. Shut up! You are the best girlfriend ever! And that's not all. I may or may not have left a box of your favorite brand mac and cheese for your mom to whip us up for lunch. I think I just died during surgery and woke up in heaven. Only the best for my favorite girl. Oh, babe, come here. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay. Let's kiss when you're less wobbly and less bloody. Now how about you get back on the couch and we can sit down and share these snacks while enjoying the parade vicariously on the TV. <sighs> you know me so well. <laughs> Don't I always? <laughs> You know, I had my doubts at first, but your mom makes a mean macaroni and cheese. All it takes is some box pasta, cheese powder, a little bit of butter and some water, and tough love. <laughs> okay, I may have helped a little. A lot. I mean, I bought the box, so. Oh Dylan, give yourself some credit. You did make the homemade juice and brought a huge tub of ice cream. <laughs> okay, fine. Well, how are you feeling now? Do you feel you've recovered consciousness completely? Well, you don't have two heads anymore. We can safely say that I am back in the real world, not delusional. I still can't feel my tongue and lips. What's up with that? <laughs> 
That settles it then. Welcome back to Planet Earth, Debbie Grand. Now that you've returned, we have some affairs to address. Oh, <laughs> I like the sound of that. Great. Now maybe you can explain to me this three-minute Instagram story of you rambling with gauze in your mouth. <laughs> no, really, but the bit where you said coconuts have water in them in an Australian accent is pure gold. Shut up, you know you love me. Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my new skit. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new upload. But now, as promised, I'm going to share with you all the instructions on how you can participate to be the one lucky shoutout winner for this video. So, all you have to do is leave a comment below using the hashtag dental and answer this question. Have you gotten surgery before? And if so, what was it like? Otherwise, if you've never had surgery before, just tell us a funny medical story involving you or someone you know. For example, there was one time when I almost passed out for after getting a vaccine, and when the medics took me in the back for observation, I was conscious enough to be like, I I'm fine, I, I know I'm not fine, but I I'm fine, really, it's okay. <laughs> I laugh at this story now, just looking back about how my mom must have reacted and how the medics were puzzled at, like, how was I still talking while having tunnel vision at the same time? <laughs> it's still a memory I look back on fondly, despite its absurdity. So yeah, that was your example, and if you leave a comment below using the hashtag and respond to the prompt, you'll be automatically entered into a drawing for a chance to have your YouTube username written on the canvas if you haven't gotten one already. So with that in mind, thank you all so much for watching my latest skit. I love you all so much, stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!